how to use your own image in Leonardo AI. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add your own images in Leonardo AI to create amazing portraits, artistic images, and landscapes. So let's get into it. Now, what is Leonardo AI and how can you use it? Leonardo AI is an online image generation and creative platform that allows you to generate images. They also have an AI canvas that can help you in painting with AI. And you also have 3D texture generation all done with Leonardo AI. So it's really a innovative tool in terms of visual content that you can create. Plus you can take your own images and customize them to make amazing portraits and amazing images and creative content. So to get started with Leonardo AI, simply head on over to leonardo.ai and click on get started. Once you click on get started, you can proceed with a sign up page. Now in the sign up page, you simply have to click on sign up over here and you're going to enter your email address like this and then create a suitable password or you can proceed with Apple, Google or Microsoft. So I'm just going to continue with our Google account over here to sign up with Leonardo AI. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, your account on Leonardo AI will be created. Now, after that, you have to choose your username and then you have to choose your interests. So my interests are art and I am 18 and older. And then we're going to click on continue. After that, you're going to add your role. So we're going to add ourselves as enthusiasts. And from here, we can begin creating images on Leonardo AI. Now on the left, you will see 150 credits. And you can see over here that these are available for free. It resets once per day. And you can choose to upgrade if you want to generate more images or you want to spend more credits. Now on the left, you will have this section called image generation and you can proceed with image generation over here. You can choose the, uh, you know, number of images you want and more, and you can also choose the quality that you want. Now, this is obviously going to be different because uh, this is image generation. This is not where you can upload images. So to actually upload images, you have to go on ahead and go back and you will see different tools that are being used, cinematic full body portraits, you know, these are different prompts that people are using. But there are different models even within Leonardo AI. You have a real time canvas, you have a canvas editor, you have a universal upscaler, you have real time generation, and you have motion. So, you know, you have different types of image generators or different types of creative platforms on Leonardo AI. So you can use which one you prefer. So if you want something photography based, you can go on ahead and look at some of the prompts and the images or the particular image generators that they are using. So we have image to motion, we have image to image. And we have multiple different databases. So we're going to go into the fine-tuned models on the left. And once you go into the fine-tuned models, you're going to see on the top, there is this one called Photo Real. And this is designed to create realistic portraits and photos. So you're going to simply click on Photo Real and you're going to click on Generate with this model. We're going to click on Let's Go over here. And on the left, you have your public images, your alchemy, photo reel, input dimensions, guidelines, and tiring. Then you also have add elements where you can proceed with different elements as well. So you can add different elements of pre existing models as well. Now, from here, we can type in a prompt. So let's say this is going to be a portrait of a woman with long red hair. Now, from here, you will see that our images are generated, but you still might be wondering, hey, where do I upload my own photo? Well, I'll show you guys how to do that. So to upload our own photo, once you have a generation history, you're going to see this section called image guidance. So you're going to click on image guidance. And once you click on image guidance, you can click on add an image to get started. And from here, you can upload your image. So I'll take this uh, image from here and I will open this up. And now I'm uploading my image. 
and from this we have our style reference we have image to image and you can choose the strength that we want to incorporate our original image in so i want there to be 70 percent elements of the image guidance and then after that we can proceed with our image generation like so now keep in mind that this is something if you want to include more image guidance, you would have to upgrade to a premium version on Leonardo AI, but even with a free version, you can still proceed with image guidance. So now I want to make the woman in the image dressed like a princess like this we, we are just going to generate that and you will see that because i included 70 percent elements from the original image it's going to take the same women that we have uploaded the image that we have uploaded and customize that into its own creation into a new image now you can add any image and you can add any type of fine-tuned model some fine-tuned models of leonardo ai might not be able to incorporate image to image generation that is one thing to keep in mind you guys can see now it has changed up the original reference image they have you know they basically beautified the image a bit and this is pretty interesting so now what i can do is i can go back and i can use a different um prompt or a fine-tuned model so you guys can see on the top left we have our preset so i can click on animate over here and then after that i can go on ahead and go into the left panel go into advanced settings we have the anime xl we have negative prompt tiring fixed seeds and you guys can see for this particular prompt i'm going to click on image guidance and i will go on ahead and use character references and this is obviously limited because I can't use multiple different images as a guide. So I want to click on image guidance over here. And we are going to reuse our prompts. And let's say we want an anime variation of that. We would be able to get that from here as well. And you can really generate whatever type of image you want. This really is going to be dependent on the um, model that you are using and the way that you are going to proceed with the model because for anime styles we are using a character if we want we can even do background uh, with image references on leonardo ai as well so in this way you can upload your own images on leonardo ai to customize them so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.